I'm Beverly Bly. I'm a certified court reporter for the state of Iowa. I also have my national certification from the National Court Reporters Association. My job as an official court reporter is to go into the courtroom and take down word for word all of the words that are said during a proceeding. Typical day is I go into work, I get my machine set up, I write on a stenotype machine. We are not actually typing, which is what most people think we're actually writing. And I write machine steno stenotype and that is how I take the record of every word that's being said and that's what we'll teach you to do here is to take down the record properly and teach you to use the stenotype machine and be able to go into any courtroom, hopefully any um, attorney's office, whatever you're asked to do to make a record or to take down the proceedings or to provide captioning, you're going to be prepared and ready to go. So in order to enroll in the court reporting school here at Blackhawk College, you will need to do one of their prerequisite programs. They have one called First Steps and then there's also one that NCRA sponsored called A to Z, which introduces you to the machine, how it works, just kind of the basic mechanics of how the writing works. It teaches you the alphabet on the machine. And it just helps you kind of get your feet wet a little bit to see if this is something you really do want to pursue before you invest a lot of time and money into something that you then find out you didn't really like that well. The very first thing you're going to learn is Theory 1, and that teaches you the first steps of how to use a stenotype machine. Then once you complete all of the coursework in that, you'll go to Theory 2, and you'll then learn all of the other steps that you haven't learned yet to use the stenotype machine. You'll learn the rest of the keys, the rest of the sounds, how it all works because it's all phonetic. There's not, spelling does not even matter. For example, if I write the word laugh, I write L-A-F. I don't worry about the A-U-G-H part. So you'll learn all of how that works and which keys you start with, where your vowels are, your number bar. There's so much to learn, but it's very doable. And after that, then you would do your speed building classes, which usually start at 120 and they go to 225 words a minute that you have to be able to pass that to graduate. From there, you will take your certification test for whatever state you're gonna work in. And you can take your national test like I did also if you want to, which sometimes aids you in getting your certificates other states. A stenotype machine is a machine that has 22 keys on it. You can use different keys to make other letters. For example, on the left side there are, I believe, eight keys. And you would use two keys at a time to make other letters. And we write, like I said, by phonetics, so we don't worry about is there a C and a K. We just use one for both. And you can make any letter you need on that side. The right hand, all words end over here. The words always start on the left, they end on the right, and your vowels are all down in the middle. You have an A and O, an E and a U. You push the E and the U together to make an I. And that's how you make the words. I know it sounds very complicated, but it really is so learnable. I don't want people to be overwhelmed and think it's not. I, you know, I always tell people, I have 10 fingers just like you do. I don't have extra fingers. This is totally, totally learnable. Anybody who is interested is more than welcome to come and job shadow with any reporter. I don't think anyone would ever turn them down if you want to just kind of get a feel for it and see if it's something you think you might like. And a huge important part, in my opinion, of your schooling that you'll get is an internship. That is just so key. I learned more on my internship, I think, than I did probably in half of my classes. You just learn so much about the day-to-day -day things that nobody tells you about. It's like I heard an attorney say the other day, they don't really teach you how to be a lawyer in law school. They teach you the law, but not all the day-to-day -day things. And coming down to internship, coming down to job shadow, those are just huge, huge parts, I think, of being a successful reporter. I know for me, it was just so important. The earning potentials, I would say, in most places, you're gonna start out between 50 and 55,000. Depending on your skills, depending on where you live, depending on your certifications, depending on if you're willing to provide real time, you can make well over $100,000 a year. I know many, many reporters who do because they upsell, especially the freelancers upsell their real time. They upsell a daily copy and all these other different things. And with official ships, we can't always upsell those things, but we do get our transcript income in addition to our salary, which is really nice. But for the freelancers, they can upsell a lot of different things and they could make well over $100,000 a year without batting an eye. 